In this chapter, we are going to introduce the message dot senders. And now we already have the mappings to keep track of who owns a zombie. And we also want to update the create zombie to use them. And in Solidity, we have the global variable, and which is the message dot sender. And if you use message dot sender, it will refer to the address of this contract. So if you type message dot sender, and it will refer to this contract address. So note in Solidity, the function execution always needs to start with an external caller. A contract will just sit on the blockchain doing nothing until someone call one of its functions. So there will always be a message dot sender. So here is an example of message dot sender. And we already have the mapping, which is favorite numbers. So in order to set the favorite number to the address, we are going to use favorite numbers and then we pass the address and address is message dot sender. And because if you use the message dot sender, it will refer to the contract address. And then it set the number, for example, this is eight. And now we can also use another function to get back the three first numbers. So in order to return the three first number, we just need to use the three first number and pass the message dot senders. So it will get the three first numbers. And now we can go to the test and we want to update the create zombie functions and which is inside the lesson one and which is here. First, after we get back the new zombie ID, and which is this one, and we want to update the zombie to owner and store message dot senders under the ID because we already have this mapping, so you can use zombie to owner, and then we pass the message dot sender. Uh, no, this is not. This is ID because this is the uint, and we are going to pass the ID, and then we set it equal to message.sender. And so this is the zombie owner is this address. So in the second part, we are going to use the owner zombie count. So we copy this, and then we pass the message dot sender because in our second part we want to increase the owner zombie count. So it also has another example that if you want to add the number, you just need to add two plus symbol and then place a semicolon. And now we can check the answer. And we can go to next chapter.